Now let's talk about a couple of parameters in the propeller called rake and skew. And these differ from two other parameters called the sweep and axial in a very important way. The rake and skew are always relative to the local chord direction. And this means that the local twist distribution comes into play with these. So to see what's going on, let's jump to a left-hand view and zoom in on this cross-section. And for example, we're going to use the root to see how this changes. So if I start to apply some positive rake, you can see that it's moving in a positive direction that's normal to the local chord and moving in this direction or down relative to the shape of the airfoil. If we go negative, it moves it in the other direction and it moves it up relative to the chord line of the airfoil. And the reason for this is that there's a convention for rake and skew that corresponds to the blade construction axis. So if you're going from the center of rotation out along the blade, that's one direction. The skew direction is specified along the chord line towards the trailing edge. That's a second one. So by the right hand rule, a positive rake is normal to the chord and pointing down. Now, if we set this back to zero and take a look at the skew, you can see that this is the partner direction to this. If we give it some positive skew, we are moving the entire cross section along the chord line toward the trailing edge. If we go negative, we're then moving it towards the leading edge, but always translating either parallel or perpendicular to the local chord line. And that means that with rake and skew, again, the twist distribution comes into play. So if we were to take the root section and look at the rake, for example, let's apply 0.05 to the root and 0.05 to the tip. You can see that this one moved in this direction and the tip moved in this direction. So if we set these again back to zero, let's look at that again with skew. If we set this to 0.05, it's moving in this direction. Notice how this direction is very different. So with rake and skew, again, you're always dealing relative to the local twist distribution. So if I were to add another point here, it would matter what twist is set at that value. Now this is in contrast to two parameters that are the sweep and axial. Those directions are always relative to the propeller plane of rotation, where sweep is in the plane of rotation, either around forward or around behind the blade, and the axial direction is either into or out of the propeller plane of rotation, and we'll cover those as well.